Right now at 6 o'clock, the News 4 Jacks I-Team is investigating the case of this Jacksonville man who's been arrested and charged with using a 3D printer to make machine guns and other firearms in his home and selling them. A federal grand jury just indicted 27-year-old Lucas Shirley. Agents with the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms say he was selling thousands of dollars worth of homemade weapons. My news for Jack's I team investigator Vic Michalucci tells us it's not against the law to make weapons, but it is to sell them. This is the latest example where federal agents say people are making ghost guns, hard to trace firearms and then selling them illegally. This case involves a man making all kinds of weapons inside his home and trying to sell them to an undercover agent. In this 28-page criminal complaint, an ATF federal agent claims 27-year-old Lucas Shirley was making and selling firearms out of his Northside home. Those include short-barreled rifles, silencers, and conversion devices, turning firearms into machine guns. A confidential informant brought an undercover ATF agent to Shirley's home. They noticed tools across the house, including a smelting pot covered with a metallic substance on the kitchen floor and a 3D printer on the living room floor. Ultimately, the three brokered a deal for $11,000 for four rifles, four silencers, and a couple pistols. It is legal to own machine guns in this country. It's legal to own suppressors. Um, we do have what's called an SOT. You get a special license, another layer of bureaucracy from the government, and you can own these things. You, you pay an extra tax stamp or you, again, go through a more extensive background check. You agree to another set of regulations, and you can own machine guns. You can own short-barreled rifles. You can own suppressors. Rob Pincus is a former law enforcement officer who now trains police. He's also a federally licensed firearms manufacturer. He says while making firearms at home for personal use is legal, selling them is against the law and opens the doors for violent crimes. Whether we agree with the laws or not, and I certainly think a lot of the gun laws in the U.S. need to be changed, and there's, there's too many restrictions against the free exercise of our Second Amendment rights, the reality is if you want to be in this business, you do need to have a manufacturer's license and you need to follow the regulations of the law if you're going to be engaged in that business. Shirley was already on a 10-year probation for trying to sell methamphetamine. JSO arrested him for that in 2018. Now he's facing federal charges. I did reach out to the ATF and agents are still investigating. They tell us that Shirley is in federal custody as he awaits his day in court. He did not have an attorney on record when I checked. Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.